Hodge. All right, I'm back with part two of my Blu-ray collection, um, inspired by Kevin from the Buried Out Mirrors channel. If you haven't seen part one, please go back and watch that before you start part two. Don't want to miss out on all the awesome Blu-ray movies that I have. Um, I feel like I spoke really fast in the last one, so I'm going to try to slow it down a bit. Let's get started here with Devil. Uh, don't remember a lot about this one, just that it's a scary movie. Uh, at the time when it first came out, I um, thought I really enjoyed it, but it's been a while since I've seen it. Grab these both down here. We have Despicable Me, Despicable Me 1, Despicable Me 2. Great movies. Um, minions are pretty hilarious uh, creatures. Uh, worth a watch, definitely. My wife's movie, but one that I don't mind, Kevin, and that's uh, Dirty Dancing. Uh, we actually went and saw the musical when it was playing in Toronto, and it was awesome. Um, decent movie. Uh, nobody puts baby into a corner. Can't have a Blu-ray or DVD collection without a copy of Dumb and Dumber. Uh, awesome movie. So many great lines in it. My wife and I quote it all the time. Easy A, uh, I remember enjoying this one when it first came out, and I don't think I paid $14.99 for it, um, but it is actually from a Rogers video, it's kind of neat. Um, this is one of those ones, I think, that's based off of a Shakespeare play. I can't remember which play. It's not The Taming of the Shrew, that was 10 Things I Hate About You, but uh, yeah. The Evil Dead remake, uh, I enjoyed it. Not as good as the originals, uh, definitely more gory, but uh, still good. Grab these two together because we have The Expendables and The Expendables 2. I still don't have The Expendables 3, but I will be getting that at some point. It's on my wants list. Um, awesome throwback action movies. I mean, you've got all the best acts. So we got Stallone, Statham, or Statham, although he's not the best action hero. Uh, Lee, Lundgren, Mor Norris, Crew, Couture, Hemsworth, Van Damme, Willis, Schwarzenegger. And they just get better as the series progresses and just more crazy and more stupid but awesome stuff. They're just mind-numbing stuff to put on and enjoy. The Fighter, uh, I remember enjoying this one when we watched it. Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale and uh, Amy Adams is in it as well. Um, don't remember too much about it, but I remember enjoying it. Awesome, uh, fun comedy movie, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. This is another one where when it's on TV, you can turn it on and watch it uh, at any point. Uh, when it's on. It's uh, done by the guys who did The Four-Year-Old Virgin and Knocked Up. Friends with Benefits? Um, it says 1999, but my guess is we purchased this with a, like, buy one, get one free or something like that. Um, I don't even think I ever watched this, but maybe I have. Full Metal Jacket is probably my favorite Stanley Kubrick movie. Um, least top two. Uh, if you haven't never seen this, watch it um it's almost like two movies in one it's definitely very heavy uh in the front end of the movie uh but it's good very good frozen uh yeah disney movie it's all right my daughters uh goon um i remember really really enjoying this when it came out it's just because it's a hockey movie there's not a lot of hockey movies out there that's what it drew me to it um yeah um it's okay of course, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and uh, this is the, um, can't remember what Kevin called them, but they're the little book editions where they got the pictures, whoops, and coupons or something in there. Oh, Ivan Reitman is on that. But anyways, cool little picture book ones um, with 1 and 2 in it. I purchased this for my wife for a gift at some point. Uh, she's a big Ghostbusters fan. Gran Torino, this was also in Kevin's uh, video when he did his. Awesome, awesome movie. Uh, grumpy old man, uh, but you gotta love him. This is Green Zone, Matt Damon. I recall enjoying it when it first came out. Um, I don't think I've seen it since, but it was okay. This is uh, Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but this is like the remake version. It's actually pretty funny. My son uh, is the one that he was like wanted to see it for the longest time. I think we actually went to the theater to see it, um, and we watched this copy pff, countless times, especially obviously at Christmas time. Uh, the Hangover, I enjoyed it the first time I watched it, and it's one I'll put on every now and again. Um, not as a sequel, not so much, but the original's good. And apparently I do own The Hangover Part 2. I don't think I saw this in the theater. I think we ended up buying it when it came out, and it doesn't hold up like the first one does, but we still own it. 
I don't know. The one thing with sequels and, and three parts and four parts, I always want to try to own them all. It just the set doesn't feel complete without the, all of them. The Heat. Uh, I don't know. Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. I thought... We got some chuckles when we watched it. I think this was at the phase where we were buying movies when we were at the grocery store. We were like, oh, we hadn't seen that yet. Let's just buy it. And yeah. Uh, Home, another Disney movie. It's actually pretty good. It's not a one you hear about that often. Um, I think it's Disney. Maybe it's not. But anyways, it's a cartoon. I always seem to associate all cartoons with either Disney or Pixar. Um, yeah. Uh, Hop, a Easter movie. Not too many Easter movies out there. Um, yeah, it was okay. This is an awesome one. Uh, this is Horton Hears a Who. Uh, Jim Carrey and Steve Carell. Um, really enjoyable. And uh, who doesn't like Dr. Seuss brought to life? Hotel Transylvania. This is another underrated Adam Sandler flick, in my opinion. Or I guess it's a cartoon. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's another enjoyable one. Uh, we got lots of cartoons uh, and animated, but we also have the kids. And How to Train Your Dragon. This is just the first one. I don't think we own any of the other ones in the series. Uh, I enjoyed it. Good little series. I know my son really enjoyed it the first time he saw this. As I said, we need to own all of the movies when they come out. So we've got, of course, The Hunger Games. We've got Catching Fire. And then The Mockingjay Part 1. And The Mockingjay Part 2. Hunger Games, to me, this is an awesome movie. Book's way better. Unfortunately, they couldn't translate the book into a movie. Like, they never can. I always enjoy the books better than the movies. This movie, though, is really good. I enjoyed it. Eh, the other one's not as much. They're still good, though. Um, but, yeah. Great series. Oh, I'm going to bring these all down. So, we have The Ice Age Meltdown. Ice Age, A Mammoth's Christmas Special, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, and Ice Age, Continental Drift. Uh, these are just fun family movies. Toss on whenever you want. And of course, Chris, we have a, quite a selection of Christmas movies. Uh, just when Christmas time rolls around, then we can toss them on and watch. But yeah, Ice Age movies, they're good. Another uh, good one to throw on whenever it just seems to be on TV. I Love You Man, a good bromance style movie. Uh, Paul Rudd and Jason Segel. Inception. I remember loving this movie the first time I saw it. Honestly, I don't think I've sat down and watched it um, anytime recently. So maybe this is one I should toss on again and see if I enjoy it as much still. Uh, it's complicated. I remember this being pretty funny the first time we watched it. Meryl Streep, Steve Martin, and uh, Alec Baldwin. Uh, this is another one I haven't seen in quite a while. I mean, it'll be on TV and I'll see bits and pieces of it, but I should probably sit down and watch this one from start to finish again. Inglorious Bastards. This was an awesome movie. Um, Quentin Tarantino. I have a bunch of other Tarantino movies up uh, here. You'll see as we go through things, but I thought this one was awesome. Brad Pitt did a great job. I know a lot of people can't stomach some Tarantino stuff, but this one, this is good. Inside Out, my daughter loved this movie. We had bought her all the figures and the characters, and uh, we took her to the theater. Very, very good. All right, it looks like my battery is about to die, um, so I'm going to end this one here. Um, thank you very much for watching part two of my Blu-ray collection, and uh, stay tuned for part three.